Welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 1 for the Genesis or Xbox Live Vintage Collection. Right now we're in Starlight Zone. Honestly, I usually have a bit of trouble with this because of those enemies right there. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. I probably should have looked it up. But basically they'll explode and leave a large blast radius in their wake. Also, there are a lot of bottomless pits in this level, but you do ver go very fast. But that does lead to your death, like so. Which is not very fun, to be honest. So, instead of having a super high energy run, speed run through this level, I'm going to be taking it a bit slower than most. Because, honestly, I don't really have the best of reflexes when it comes to these games. If I see something coming, I see it coming, but I cannot react to this on a dime, you know? And also all the momentum, I need to control my jump very well, it's just a lot of stuff to do. Oh god, see, like right there, I did not see that coming, even though I should have. I've played this game a few times fully. Oh, um, my software- ah! Ladies and gentlemen, that- I uh, can't talk. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what happens when you look at your recording while playing a Sonic game and not pausing. Okay, that was kind of cheap, honestly. Hmm. I should probably try to get that extra life. And I probably will. Again, this is not the best of runs. I'm not the best gamer ever, as you would say, but... I don't know. I do good enough. I can beat old games. When I can say for most people I know, usually just sit around playing either MMORPGs or they're playing newer games that are considered hard. Which, I mean, props to them for playing games like Dark Souls and stuff and being good at it, but I don't know, I just... I'm, I'm good enough. I don't go after specifically hard games. I mean, the best I can do is beat Zelda 1 or Lost Levels. But not Dark Souls, I just don't. Dark Souls, I think, is more of a time sink than anything. Because it's meant so you don't, you know, like just run in head first. You need to think of every move and you're gonna die. That's the point of the game. You need to die to figure things out. Honestly, I don't really think that's the best game design, but and I'm not a game designer. So that was Act 1 of Starlight Zone. It's not too hard, but it can throw you for a loop if you're not paying attention. Hold on, I'm just checking my recording software. It's going pretty good. You can hit a fan there, you're gonna miss rings though. This is where Starlight Zone gets a bit difficult. Then again, it is one of the last zones you're gonna come across. I think the next zone is Metropolis, or... Not Metropolis, probably like... Eggman- it's Eggman's base, I don't know exactly what it's called. Eggman has his base in every game. And renames of different things, like... One's Death Egg Zone, one's Death Egg Zone 2, one's... Uh, Final Egg. One is the Space Colony Arc Final Rush. I mean, they're not even the bases, they're... Just stages that are happen to be the final one. <coughs> this is another major gimmick of this world. You will be hitting these up and down. And again, they do have momentum. If you jump into the middle of one side, it's not going to go as high as it would if you jumped onto the very edge. As those things work. They're seesaws. And this is going to be a very useful trick to... No, because one of the, or not one of the, but the boss in the zone 
is gonna be using that. That was a very quick run. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Only a minute and 23 seconds. And a special stage to boot. Which is cool. Again, I'm not too butthurt that I'm not gonna be getting all the things. Chaos Emeralds, but honestly, they don't really do anything. And to be perfectly honest, I probably won't get them when I eventually do Sonic 2 either. Because... I can't be bothered. I'm better at Sonic 4 Episode 2's special stages than Sonic 2's. That's another big reason. I'd probably get them if I could actually do the um, special stages. Okay, right there is another glitch. Sometimes it just doesn't send me, you know, out of the stage. Also, you heard a jingle earlier. That's giving me a continue. If they didn't like, you know, let you pretty much save this game. If this was the original Genesis, that would be very useful, because, like I said, you start all the way from the beginning. But basically, if you get a game over, you'll be able to continue with, I think, another set of five lives? I could be wrong, though. It's not really in my long-term memory to remember this kind of stuff. Okay, there. I was pretty close to getting the special... Stage Chaos Emerald, but whatever. Wow, I'm only getting two in this run. Usually I get at least four. Actually, one time I think I got them all in one run on the 3DS version. But this is the boss act, and this is probably gonna take another little while, like Labyrinth Zone did. Because honestly, I try to go fast in these stages, but things like that happen. This thing, I don't know what its issue is. It likes to send Sonic backwards. I don't know how that works. Maybe it's a one of the fans that suck things in, but whatever. Okay, this is kind of difficult because you've got to gain speed. You've also got to be wary. I don't even know what happened. Is there a fan over here? No, there's not. I honestly do not know what happened. But yeah, see, I was in the middle of that and it didn't send me as far because, you know, the momentum didn't kick in. And you want to be wary, but okay. That was partially my fault, partially fault of the thing not loading. Okay, you want to be careful here, because I always overshoot this jump. Um, and like, not get on the seesaw, but whatever. I really need rings. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, hopefully I can beat this act relatively quickly. So this isn't a boring playthrough, because that's what I dre- Oh my god, I forgot those things were in the game. Jeez. I don't really memorize level maps, so I can't really give you an estimate of where I am in the level, but... Actually, I think I'm misremembering something. Oh yeah, the, uh... The next zone has, like, I, again, I don't remember what it's called, but it's got some pretty annoying gimmicks. Um, it's all robot -y and stuff. You're gonna be dealing with some crap. So here is our boss. He is going to drop th bombs like that on us. You can use them to hit Eggman personally, or you could use them to bounce yourself up. Honestly, either way works. It's a good system to kill him. And actually, it's a pretty interesting boss idea in general. Um, also, when they explode, they do send out those weird, um, like, uh, blast radius, like, spheres. Um, this shouldn't take too long if I can grab my ring fast enough. Again, you really don't need more than one ring. If you're fast enough like me. Oh man, that stinks. Okay, I can deal with it though. Oh god, now I'm doing it without a ring. That's bad. Honestly, I think there's only like one more hit in the boss too that blows.
Oh man, I'm stinking. Okay. Okay, that's me screwing up again. Okay, that's my last continue. And you see I'm back at the beginning of the game. Um, since I'm doing pretty bad, I'm going to save my data. Or data, whatever you pronounce. I had a math teacher one time who always said, data? I'm like, no. Like, Dota is a MMO, not a math thing. Math is stupid, let's be honest. I mean, it's just, like, here, do this equation with these numbers to get even bigger numbers. What can you substitute these exponents for to, or these variables for to help you in real life? Not nothing, but I mean, you could do stuff, like make more numbers. Numbers are fun. It's pretty much what it is. Like, I don't remember exactly what it was called. It's exponential something. It's pretty much like, uh,. It adds something new with binomials, and you could, like, keep on making them into smaller or bigger numbers and, like, make a pyramid of numbers out of it, and it's just, like, no one wants that. Oh, crap, that was bad. Hopefully I can actually beat it this time without too much of a hitch. There we go, it only took me one try this time. That's always good. Man, 12 minutes and that's how much it took me- or no, 13 minutes actually now, but that's how much it took me to do this zone, which is probably not the best thing. Scrap brain zone, that's what it was called. I think this... Okay, yeah, you really want to be wary about that. Um, I'm gonna do my best to get extra lives here, actually. I'm gonna save really quick here. Be... Whoops. Right here, because I... I do like this game, but I don't really want to do this entire thing over. So yeah, this, this will try to crush you a lot. I'm telling you that right now, because... I don't know, this zone likes crushing and traps and stuff. But it is Dr. Robotnik's base. Again, I hate calculators. Also, these little electric generator things will try to get you. Disappearing bah blocks a la Mega Man 2. Now we can get a shield. These will only give send out about three body lengths with the electricity, which is not that dangerous. These can be pretty difficult because you've got to time your jump like so. I don't even think I got that any good. What am I trying to accomplish here? Oh, there's disappearing blocks. Okay. That's why I was not getting anywhere. Great, thank you. Oh, shoot. I want to be careful about red. Pretty much any time you see red, you can uh, 
expect a trap. Um, I don't know what... Okay. Okay. So that will only open for a short amount of time! Huh. <sighs> Boy. Okay, whatever. This may have been the safer path. Probably not. Because there's fire now. Fire's never nice. You want to be really careful here because this is where I fell to earlier. I'll cross that really quickly. And there are going to be these pig things that shoot bombs for no reason other than to screw with you. So, okay, we could have avoided these, but, uh, well, some of them at least, by taking the higher path. But the higher path screwed me over, so it does not get to be shown. So, fun fact, when it says 100 score on that title screen, then you get actually 10 points. But when it says 1,000, I believe it's 10,000, so it's really weird. Also, you can see when I got a game over, my score kind of reset, and I'm gonna save right now too because I am kind of worried I'd need to start this game over because I don't remember whether or not I can do stuff. This is another gimmick, man. This level is just full of gimmicks. Um, uh, gears with their own gravity, I guess. I don't know how Robotnik made these, but whatever. They can help you build moment shoot. Uh, that is not good at all. Any rings? Nope. If I can get onto that though, that'd be fantastic. Thank you, game. This will give us a platform to jump on so we can get hit by a caterpillar. And another caterpillar. I do not like these. This zone, it's just full of traps. Just screw with you. Like, you really need to watch where you're going. And also, these bomb things are still a thing. And then saw blades and fire and... Honestly, it's a pretty good attempt to kill Sonic. I've gotta give them credit. They're making Robotnik kind of smart. I mean, traps and stuff, that's... Classic. Okay, that is not good. These, you can actually get back up from, but you also can get killed. Um, shock by lightning. And nothing is good. Is nothing sacred robotic? Right here, you want a time. Damn. Okay, at least we got more ring boxes down here. You want to jump pretty much when they're spinning. Okay, you you need to know how these the patterns of these work. Okay, I was too quick there. Okay, I better stop being so quick. Come on, game. Game, I want to finish. Okay, um, seems like my best bet is to not try to go through them. Okay, there we go. That probably took me too long. Oh god. I hate when that happens. When a caterpillar is on a ledge and it still happens to kill or hit you. Boy, I'm- oh my god, I could not have gotten away from that if I tried. Game over! How nice. Can I continue? Yes, I can.